All right, so now we will go to your favorite. And we will look at the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And see if the four how the four living creatures relate to the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. So say so the Israelites, when they left Egypt, they left in rank and file as they journeyed in the wilderness. Tribes, they would, they would camp around the tabernacle. So mm -hmm. the Israelites would camp around the tabernacle in the locations that God determined. So God told them where they would, their tents, where they would sleep around the tabernacle. So the 12 tribes and groups of three were divided, were divinely situated in cert a certain distance from the tabernacle. So the Levites camped just outside of the tabernacle mm -hmm. tent, mm -hmm. but then the 12 tr other tribes were camped around, some on the north, some on the south, some on the east, and some on the west. So, so since the Levites were around the tabernacle, that would leave only 11 tribes. But So the Joseph, his tribe was the largest, and so they were basically divided in two, Ephraim and Manasseh. Mm -hmm. So then they had 12 tribes. So Joseph's tribes are basically split into two. And so they had 12 tribes. So they, and the 12 tribes lived around the tabernacle. So they would live around, mm -hmm. they would, some three here, three here, three here, three to the south. So four of the tribes, Judah, Reuben, Ephraim, and Dan, were recognized as leaders. So... Judah, with Issachar, they were on the uh, on the east. So Judah, Issachar, and Zebulon mm -hmm. were on the east, with Judah in the middle. Reuben, Simeon, and Gad. Reuben, Simeon, and Gad were on the south, and so Reuben was in the middle. Mm -hmm. On the west, you had Ephraim. Manasseh and Benjamin. Okay. And on the north you had Dan, mm -hmm. Asher, and Naphtali. And Dan was the uh, the tribal head. So the tribal heads were Judah on the east, mm -hmm. Reuben on the south, Ephraim on the west, and Dan on the north. Mm -hmm. So each of the twelve tribes had a specific area in the camp to live, and each had its own flag, a standard or banner. So Numbers 2, 1, Numbers chapter 2, verses 1 and 2 says, The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, The Israelites are to camp around the tent of meeting some distance from it, each of them under their standard and holding the banner of their family. So each tribe had their own had their own banner, mm -hmm. but then the brigade leader had a standard for their side. So each tribe had their own flag, but each side had a flag too. So the east side had a flag, the west side had a flag, the north and the south had a flag. So the tabernacle was surrounded with the uh, four flags of the brigade leaders. So the Jewish tradition says that, uh, so the, the Judah, who was on the east side, their brigade flag was a golden lion on a scarlet background. So on the east side. So, so Ephraim, mm -hmm. who was on the west side, theirs was a black ox on a gold background. Mm -hmm. So Reuben, which was on the south, had their flag, it was a man on a gold background. And Dan, who was on the north, his was a gold eagle on a blue background. So the four flags around the t tabernacle were the, had the um, faces of the uh, Yeah, the creatures. same faces as the four living creatures. Mm -hmm. Had a lion, a lion to the east, an ox to the west, a man to the south, and an eagle to the north. So it was a, there was a connection with the four living creatures. To and it's four living creatures. Right. Four. Yeah. And, and the four have four faces. Well, the four had one face each. Mm -hmm. 
on the other one on the other so um, in revelations yeah. the ones around the throne mm -hmm. so the, or the ones here yeah, around the throne have one face each mm -hmm. in heaven so the ones in heaven have one face each and so similar the tabernacle had one face on each side and there's four and that's what uh, the hope is that we can unveil uh, we're unveiling the mysteries of the spirit realm and, uh, and apparently we're unveiling the tabernacle is, is a big key yeah. to unveiling mm -hmm. it well just like he had them around him he has them around the tabernacle yeah uh -huh. that's, so he did this as a citizen in heaven right yeah, the tabernacle mm -hmm. was supposed to be a reflection or a shadow of mm -hmm. what's in heaven. Mm -hmm. So God would come here because it was resembled where he left. So he, this is where he, so he wanted to make it. He like said, he make a house. Them, yeah. He would say, make a house like mine and yeah. I'll come visit you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.